In this video, we'll be discussing the pour-through technique for monitoring pH and soluble salts in container-grown nursery crops. The pour-through technique allows a grower to ensure the plant is at an appropriate pH, as well as monitor the levels of fertilizer present. It's important to maintain a proper pH, as nutrient uptake changes with pH level. Plants grown in the wrong pH could develop nutrient deficiency leading to a lower quality product. Materials needed include a pH EC reader, collection trays, irrigation water, a measuring cup, calibration solutions, and a data table to record your readings. Begin by irrigating the containers you're going to be measuring. Then, allow the containers to drain for half an hour. When selecting containers to be tested, be sure to represent all areas of the production space, including containers in multiple rows and at various distances from the row end. Once your containers have drained, set them in the plastic trays. Pour on enough irrigation water to cause a measurable amount of leachate to drain from the container. This will depend on your container size and your measuring device. Now it's time to take your readings. Remove the container from the tray to allow access to your collected leachate. There are many different meters available to use for these measurements. The Myron L AG5 Agrimeter is an example of a simple EC meter. The user simply pours leachate into the cup until both probes are covered. In this demonstration, we'll be using the HANA Instruments HI9811 PH EC TDS meter. This meter uses a single probe to measure pH and electrical conductivity. Begin your measurements by reading the pH and EC of your irrigation water. The EC of your irrigation water will be subtracted from your readings to give you an accurate number. Tilt your collection tray to pull your leachate. This allows the probe to be completely submerged. This is important for accurate readings. Be sure to rinse your probe between readings. Record your readings to track pH and fertilizer release over time. This will allow you to refine your fertilizer application timing and amount. Excessive fertilizer should not be found in your leachate, nor should too much be found after the growing season has ended. According to the Southern Nursery Association's Best Management Practices Guide for Producing Nursery Crops, EC levels should be between 500 and 1,000 microsiemens per centimeter for those using a controlled release fertilizer, and 800 to 1,500 microsiemens per centimeter for those using liquid fertilizers or both. When readings are found to be too high, consider reducing fertilizer rates or increasing irrigation. If readings are too low, increase fertilization. Over time, you should be able to develop a fertilization strategy based on your observations of plant performance at different levels. This video was created as a part of the University of Kentucky Nursery Crops web series. For more information on the topics discussed, contact your county extension office. This program is made possible thanks to funding provided by the Kentucky Horticulture Council, the Agriculture Development Fund, and the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture.